Along the shifting shores of Europe, where the sea meets the land in a timeless rhythm, lives a bird both striking and spirited. This is the Eurasian oyster catcher, a bird whose voice and presence define the soundscape of the coast. Known to science as Hematopus australigus, the Eurasian oyster catcher is one of the most recognisable wading birds of the northern hemisphere, with its bold black and white plumage, fiery red bill, and piercing call, it is unmistakable. Despite its name, this bird seldom eats oysters. Instead, it has mastered a far wider menu, making it one of the coast's most versatile hunters. Standing up to 45 centimeters tall, the oyster catcher is a bird of contrast. Its plumage, black above and pure white beneath. The bill, long, straight and brilliant orange-red is more than decoration. It's a precision tool honed by evolution to crack open shells and probe into the mud for hidden prey. Its eyes, ringed with orange, burn with intensity. And when it takes to the air, bold white wing bars flash against a dark backdrop, announcing its presence to all who watch. The oyster catcher's diet is as varied as the landscapes it inhabits. Along rocky shores, it is a specialist, tackling limpets, mussels, and cockles with remarkable skill. Some birds are hammerers, chipping through shells with repeated blows. Others are stabbers, inserting their bills into the narrow gap between shells and prizing them apart. On sandy estuaries, it abandons shellfish in favour of worms and small crustaceans. Inland, on farmland and riverbanks, it probes the soil for earthworms and insects. Few waders show such adaptability, and it is this versatility that has allowed the oyster catcher to thrive across continents. From the storm-lashed coasts of Scandinavia to the tidal estuaries of Britain, from inland river valleys to the fields of the Netherlands, oyster catchers have carved out a niche wherever food is plentiful. Northern populations, facing frozen winters, migrate south. Gathering along the shores of the Mediterranean, North Africa and the Middle East. In these winter havens, thousands may congregate on tidal flats, turning mud and sand into a living, shifting mosaic of black, white and red. <laughs>